Warning, viewer discretion is advised. Imagine spending 24 hours inside a haunted attic. Unable to leave, even if you wanted. Look, it just stopped. Where'd you go? Oh my... Bet all the way to 100. This week on The Paranormalist, I am back at Carter Sherr's house. Last time I was here, we discovered some pretty compelling evidence. For one side but we were all activity. left with questions. And many of you asked for me to come back to continue the investigation. So, I am back. And tonight, Carter and I will attempt to spend 24 hours locked inside of his attic. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. That way we can all grow together. Welcome to the Paranormalists, season two finale. Sonja Henny was born 1912 in Oslo, Norway where she grew up with a dream of being an ice skater. In time, that dream became her reality and she went on to the Olympics and won, not one, but three gold medals for figure skating. In 1939, she built her dream home in Los Angeles, California, a lavish mansion which she could afford due to becoming the highest paid actress in the world. Years later, Sonia became ill and passed away from leukemia. Her husband remained in the home until he sold it to actress Connie Stevens. Connie, along with her two daughters, immediately noticed the energy in the house and started experiencing things such as footsteps from above, crashing sounds from the attic, things mysteriously moving on their own, cabinets opening at random, lights even turning on by themselves, and Connie even awoke one night to find a figure standing over her bed. In more recent history, Kim Russo, a psychic medium, visited the home and confirmed the presence of multiple spirits, saying Sonia Henny's spirit is strongest within the attic. Carter and I will attempt to spend 24 hours inside of the attic and see if we can communicate with those on the other side. with one of them, I think or you want to take up everything. Yeah. You gotta hold this over. There you go. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to go up for the night. And um, what worries me most is if something does happen that's aggressive or mean, we won't be able to get out even if we wanted to. And this is why. We're gonna be locking ourselves in. So we've got no choice but to stay there for 24 hours. I'm not quite sure what I got myself into. Here is the attic, guys. We haven't cracked this door open in a while, but let's still, there's old lock, old handle, a newer lock, and even a newer handle with a lock in it. So it's got three locks and two doorknobs, which is very bizarre. It's like two people open. That is strange. I got it. On the other side of this door. Oh my gosh. It's dark up there. Can you see up there now? 
<laughs> Shine the camera, see if you see anything. Carter, I don't think this is a good idea. I did hear that one. Go check it out. All right, Matt, we got to step foot on this. We got to start the challenge. So, Matt, um, you need to come up here and then the paranormal is Matt. Did somebody just turn on? Huh? I turned off my light. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're ready, huh? Let's beat the medium. <laughs> Matt, this is not good. All right, Matt, the paranormalist, you gotta get your feet on those steps so you can start the challenge. In right. three, two, one, uh, boom. We're right. in. Put the timer on, 24 hours up here. We are not allowed to leave. Millie just ran up. Millie. Hey. Where's she going? I guess the challenge started. The challenge is totally in. I guess Millie's doing it. Okay, first things first, the attic doors are actually open. He said he doesn't believe in ghosts, but he was too scared to stay down alone, so he'd rather be up in the attic. I don't know. I wanna, I wanna see what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, see what I'm saying? I'm hoping. Guys, it's not too scared. Should we close the door? Yeah. Reading surprisingly high. And then we also have the spirit box. And, uh... And this is the REM pod EMT as well.
How, how do you do that? We have more power than they do. I have a, an idea. I don't know if you guys would be game for it. What if each one of us spent five minutes in here with no light and the, uh, <laughs> the full spectrum camera? That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Alright guys, so we're moving on to the first hostage So I was just in one of the closets that was up here in this attic and I asked for something to grab my hand and then I started feeling this prickly, needly feeling and I didn't like it. And just before that, I was in there crawling around and I came out and I locked the door and as soon as I turned my back and started to walk away, the door like made this sound like something was trying to push it open, but it was locked. Check this out guys, I am now an affiliate with an awesome and unique company called Pearbox. Now guys, they make crazy awesome quality t-shirts and every single one of them have a puzzle built into the design of the t-shirt. So every single one of their t-shirts has a paranormal theme and story. I'm actually wearing one right now that's dedicated to Lake Shawnee. Now I haven't yet been able to decode the puzzle, but believe me, I'm trying. If you think you have what it takes to decode their puzzles, go to the link in the description of this video and sign up to get your very own Parabox t-shirt. I knew I felt weird about that area. This was staying closed before, now it doesn't stay closed. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should spend the five minutes in there. <laughs> I'll spend five minutes in there with no lights on. Okay. I'll give you a quick camera to do it. Alright, guys, this is it. Matt, the paranormalist, is the only one brave enough to do the actual challenge, and we're putting him in the room with the skeleton, and we're, gonna, we're closing the door on you. Yeah, and you're, you're gonna lock me in. We're gonna lock you in? Yep. Okay, guys, like I said, I'm not brave enough to do it, especially when we're looking out that way and these town, those lights on the townhouses over there, uh, those turned on too, and I've seen that happen Jeez. before. So, uh, well, I think it might be safe if we come up with a safe word. So, yeah. if I need to come out, <laughs> yeah, I'll yell pineapple. 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 Okay. I will yell pineapple. So, if we hear the word pineapple, we're unlocking this door. We're going to get him out. We're going to make sure he is safe and he is okay. All right. I'm ready. After you, then. God, this is so sketchy. Alright. Alright, Matt. Famous last words. Um I don't have any. Right, <laughs> I don't uh, I yeah. the ghost has more words than that. <laughs> so you're sure we're gonna lock you in. Yeah, lock me in. Do this. All right, so now I'm recording. Uh, 
Alright, I know you're in here. Alright, you got me here, alone. Do you want to tell me something? Okay, so you... Alright, you are over here. I am now alone in the room where we found the skeleton on the SLS camera and I'm going to be spending 10 minutes in here by myself and um, the door is locked. I can't get out even if I wanted to unless I say pineapple which I, I won't. Do you want to tell me something? Touch those devices. Come on. Where are you? I'm here to talk. Ooh. Okay, come closer. No? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's the first time we saw the green light. Thank you, you touched it. Can you do it again? Do it again. Okay, you're making the temperature drop. Thank you for that. Guys, the green light went off. That means it actually touched it. And now it's manipulating the temperature. Come on, where'd you go? Come back. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that you? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Guys, I'm freaking out. Look, it just stopped. Where'd you go? Oh my, that's all the way to 100. No stick away. Thank you for that. Can you tell me your name? Come closer, come, come, where'd you go? Come on. Do you not like me in your space? We'll do something about it. Why are you so quiet now? I'm not gonna leave until you tell me to. That was absolutely insane. Both the Trifield and the Rampod were just going nuts. Mind you, this is exactly where we saw the skeleton on the SLS camera. This is exactly where we saw the skeleton on the SLS camera, guys. The, the Trifield and the Rampod were just going insane. I'm a little freaked out. My heart's beating a little fast, but what was that?
What it, what is that noise? I, is that you? Guys, I was hearing a weird a weird Is that, is that this wall? Might be somebody trying to mess with me. I, I, I don't know. a little surrounded. I got a few minutes left. Can you tell me what you are? They're trying to run the spear box out there. All right, I'm gonna come closer to you. We're not done yet. All right, see you guys, when I do this. That was me, that was me. I gotta be careful because these planks are all the way down. What the crap? What are you? Like me? Get out there, turn around, so I quit. I'm back in the way. Thank you. It's like something scratching on the on the wall. It's like I keep like, like, like that. Yeah. I mean, it's not supposed to. I don't know what that is. Do you want to hurt me? my name? Okay. Alright, I'm going to ask a question that kind of scares me to ask. I'm sorry, Carter, but I have to ask this question. Are you a demon? I say again. Back away. Back away. Thank you. Do you want to hurt me? Okay. Ew, pineapple! Freaking insane! Yo, bro. 
what the heck? I asked if it wanted to hurt me. And they started going insane. No way. The goal was to spend 24 hours up here. I figured it's not a big deal. Like, yeah, the house is haunted, but like, so what's the problem if we keep pushing forward? I mean, I get it. I mean, we wanted to do the 24 hour challenge, but you keep pushing and pushing and pushing, something's gonna push back and somebody can get really hurt. And I really don't think a video for YouTube is worth getting seriously hurt or maybe something worse happening. I think we need to cut it, man. I'm, I do this for a living, just, just trust me. I think we need to cut it. Carter, open the door. I got come it, come on. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I am really sorry we cannot last 24 hours up in the attic like we intended and I'm really sorry to you I know we scheduled and we wanted to do this so bad and it was an amazing idea but yeah. it's, it's it's good that we got out of there it really is well when you said pineapple when you're in there me and Matt both got up like what I didn't think you're gonna say that we ran over everything's going off all the sensors the lights I didn't, I didn't know what was happening in there. So we got that unlocked and got you out as fast as we could. So I'm just yeah. happy that like when things were getting a little crazy that we were, we, like we came out okay. Like I yeah. don't think I have any bite marks on me like you were yeah. talking about yeah. earlier. So uh, I'm down for that. I just don't know. Like my bedroom is the one right underneath the attic. Mm. And I've heard footsteps and stuff before and I feel like now that we provoked a lot. Yeah. So last time you came after, a lot were happening because we were like you yeah, know provoking you it. so it, yeah. it kind of wakes up it has more energy and then it kind of slows down after that so i might be in for uh, quite a bit now yeah i beg you to not like try to interact with it like on your own because that could be extremely dangerous you do not want to open up those doors i'm right. telling you you got the crystals and stuff uh you can kind of like cleanse the area i recommend that because whatever was up there like i couldn't even stay up there and I go to some crazy places and I and I do some crazy stuff. I couldn't do it. And I'm sorry. I just couldn't. Yeah. Um, I mean, safety first. Definitely. But thank you so much for watching this video and coming to my channel. And thank you so much for inviting me back out. As always, I had a lot of fun, man. I really did. Yeah, me um, too. It was fun. Until and, the uh, end. <laughs> until it got scary. <laughs> oh, man. So um, I'm glad we're good. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. and. I'm just learning a little bit more and more every time you do, so. Yeah, definitely. Well, with that being said, I think I'm just gonna leave. Uh, hopefully we didn't provoke things too much. But you gotta make but sure I'm the gonna, doors are closed. I'm gonna leave this to you now. Yeah. And I'm gonna go home to my nice cozy bed. Ooh. But. Uh, yeah, I gotta. I might go stay at a friend's house tonight. <laughs> might be smart, because tonight yeah. might be a little crazy. Tonight, everything's stirred up. Yeah, uh, exactly. All right. All, right. All right, guys, well, thank you so much again. And remember, happy hunting, stay safe. Woo.